okay. We each have our little mascots. Somebody wonderful gave this to me for Christmas. And I, it's a finger puppet, but I put it on my tree. And now it's on my fridge because- And I have my Ruth Bader pearls on today. Yes, for the impeachment. It happened. <laughs> In the bun is a magnet and it can stick on the fridge. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Just feeling kind of RBG today, for sure. Well, the articles were delivered. Ooh, and, and we got Tubman's today. We got the Tubman's back. <laughs> and the transgender ban in the military was lifted. What? And like, yes. So much to do. Like, what? What a day. What a difference a day makes. I'm not used to having good news. <laughs> I know, like this much good news. You're like, whoa, how can I stand up straight? <laughs> and now it's wonderful. Great. So awesome. Yeah, things are coming along. Um, still, you know, the virus is here. And today I understand the word is we should be double masking. Double masking people, double. I Too saw bad. that, and if you have a filter, like I put the N95 filters in my masks. I've been doing that for a while, but. Where do you get a filter? They have them at Sprouts of all Oh, serious? Places. Oh, I was just there today, I'll look. I double masked up in while I was in there today. When you walk in, they have these wonderful, like five packs of the filters, and you can oh, walk cool. everything. Yeah, that's, that's great. great. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll look at getting those, but I double masked all day today. That's crazy. So there is that craziness that we still have to live with. And I finished my first pass at the whole manuscript today, so I'm stupid excited. Bravo, Gabriana. I wish I were as close as you. I did a lot Shout of out manuscript. to Maggie, who's my friend Maggie, who's um who's proofing it for me. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm shortening my run on sentences. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize, you know, it's not just recipes that we're putting in this book. We're writing, you know, to ancillary short mm -hmm. stories and anecdotes yeah. to go with everything. And it's like a scrapbook. It's fun, people. It's going to be fun reading. It's going to be so fun. You know? Yeah. So I'm super excited that I got that part done. Yay. Um, but Bravo. yeah, moving along, we are getting closer. So, don't forget, people, here, I'll put this up before we get started, um, because once I start going, speaking today, um, we need to, um, you need to send stuff for the recipe contest. It ends yes. on February 9 on yes. my birthday. If you want yeah. to be in the cookbook with us, Corona Kitchen members, just send in your recipe, and it's a contest. Ten lucky Corona Kitchen members will be in the yes. cookbook. Mm -hmm. Unless so five I'm going to leave that up for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about the recipe contest and uh, our GoFundMe. We still I'm have it. To sing a little we song. So thrilled, <laughs> sing a little song and it goes like this. Five dollar <laughs> chuck, all it chuck, chuck. <laughs> we are so grateful to everyone who's given us a donation already. And we are a little over halfway, so there you go. Thank you so much to everybody. And there's some been some very generous donations. We love you all, like 68 people now. Thank you, thank you, we can't thank you enough. Um, yes. And if you haven't donated, but you've been enjoying our programming, listen, it's five bucks, we will be so happy, seriously. Five bucks. There's no yeah. shame. Just donate $5. It'll be okay. <laughs> and then we'll have a cookbook, and you'll be in the cookbook, because we'll thank you. Even if you five bucks. <laughs> it's not going to be like a price breakdown. It's just your name. Everybody yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a chicken tonight. Yay. What you're making sounds so good. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Um, oh, I had some chicken thighs in the fridge. They're boneless and skinless. Yum. Yum. And I got these gorgeous mushrooms. Oh my God. Beautiful. beautiful. 
And I got this amazing jar of sun-dried tomatoes with garlic in, look, see? Ooh. So I thought, oh, that'll make something delicious and creamy. So that's what I'm making. Yay. Yeah. Okay. okay, someone, I think I know who it is, is saying, what about the section containing unit of measuring and weight? Yes, <laughs> don't worry, that's part of the manuscript. It'll go somewhere, probably the inside of the cover. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. It's getting, <laughs> it's getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there, it's coming together. It's coming together. Oh, I'm so excited. So um, I have some flour in here. Okay. In my, my little tray. Okay. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of dried mustard to it. Mmm. I'm going to be dipping these little chickens in here. I was wondering what you were going to do. Now I have to tell the viewers, as some of them may know, that what Debriana can do with the chicken is nothing short of magic. Um, you're so funny. Thank you. Your, your lemon chicken that you made early on, like, was a game changer for me. Seriously. Yeah, a lot of people seem to like that. Was that lemon chicken pasta? Was I'm I've made it so many times. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm excited for this one because you're gonna make it all like crispy or something. Well, yeah, it's gonna be crispy, creamy, delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Um, there's there's about a let's see a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, quarter teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder in there. Okay. Um, salt and pepper. You know how that goes. And then I'm just okay. gonna mix it up and dredge my little. Um, Chicken thighs. See, these are all deboned and everything. Yeah. I, 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 really th th I like thighs the best, actually. I really do. Yeah, they're really um they're they're really tender. You don't have to worry about them getting dry. Right. Like with a chicken breast, that can sometimes happen if you're not careful. I did write a story about uh about the first time I, I made uh chicken and dumplings on my own. <laughs> you did? Oh yeah, it's in the book. <laughs> oh man, I'm not going to spill the beans now. You have to buy it. <laughs> so people out there are going to learn a lot of personal stuff about us. It's a true story. They are <laughs> <laughs> everything you always wanted to know about Debriana and Lisa. Okay, someone's saying Debriana doesn't make her own sun-dried tomatoes. I, I do actually, but this year I did not get enough that uh, that I wanted to do use to dry them. That I, I don't know what happened this year. I just didn't have enough, and, and I roasted a lot of them, so I didn't sun dry them. What do you do when you sun dry them? You just dry them in the sun? Um, pretty much, yeah. I I I have um I do apricots too, and my um and peaches that way, uh, and mm. apples. I get a big, because we live in such a dry place, I get a big screen door, like an old screen door, and it's, um, I put it on uh, saw horses, and then I usually will dip whatever it is um, in some water with vitamin C, and then I lay it out all over the screen door and cover it with a cheesecloth, and it usually dries in two days. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I did not know you could do this. I'm going to try that this summer. That sounds fun. Well, the reason I put the cheesecloth on it is just basically in case there's any flies or bugs, but you don't really need it otherwise. But the birds don't get it or anything because of the screen door, probably. I don't know why the birds don't get it. They don't bother. Maybe it's because it's got vitamin C on it. I don't know. Oh, wow. But it's super easy. So what are you putting the chicken in? Is that oil? Yeah, just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to do this in two batches. Wow. Mm. I didn't know how much was in the package. It was in the freezer. <laughs> of course and it was. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna brown it and then I'm gonna take it out of the pan and put it aside while I do the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna rinse my hand. 
right Somebody now. Somebody says that sun drying technique needs to get into the book, please. <laughs> okay. It's very unorthodox, I have to say. <laughs> Maybe if um, you know, there's so many things to put in the book. We probably have enough for five books, probably. Yeah, probably. Because you know, we got to leave something for the sequel. <laughs> Yes, then or a dish volume two, right? <laughs> volume two. At this rate, we are gonna have uh, a, we'll be stuck like this for a while longer, people. Okay, I mean, so um, I have a shallot <laughs> that I just sliced up. Okay. And then I'm gonna um, roll these garlics in here to. I want to keep the garlic, but I want to slice them. This thing. This thing is so cool. Oh my God, I love that thing. It's it's changed my life. <laughs> uh, okay, someone says unorthodox is okay, it's Corona. Right? That's, That's the whole right. point. That's the point. That is the whole point, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got here. <laughs> yep. This is gonna so be a good I'm, recipe. I'm just popping these off because I wanna do the garlic in slices. Okay. I don't want to miss it. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. That sounds yummy. Yeah. So, okay, so they're all skin. I'm going to flip these over. I'm so fast. These don't have to be cooked all the way through. I'm just crisping them up a little. Okay, crisping them up on both sides. Okay. Mm, I wish I was coming over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. <laughs> oh, so funny these days. When we finally can go to each other's house for dinner all the time, it's going to be like, God, we had dinner together a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we used to. I know. Uh, <laughs> we will again. It will happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So these these will end up being like little chips, the garlic like okay. that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no. So this is kind of high. What? I was afraid someone was gonna say Lisa, what's for dinner? And I have four baked potatoes in my oven. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Big. I love baked potatoes. Russet potatoes with just all the stuff on them. That's what I'm. I'm tired. I've been staying up till three thirty writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are getting crispy, and I'm just gonna take them out. Cook the other ones. Now they're not cooked all the way through. They're just the the flour is just a little crisped up on there. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna cook them in the um in the sauce all the this way through. It's gonna be a baked thing. No. No. no okay. It's all going to be done oh, on the top. Of the I get it. Okay. In the skillet. Okay. Yeah. In the skillet. Okay. Yep. It'll all be skilleted. Everything's what? above board today. <laughs> I didn't turn the oven. I didn't. I could have turned the oven on. It's snowing out. I know. We're supposed to get snow all night. I know. I'm so excited. They got 11 inches at the ski valley today. Really? Oh my gosh. We drove up there the other day and I said to David, this is weird. Like I can see the ground in January I on know. the ski hill. Not yeah. good. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'll be really glad for that. I hope we're going to get a lot more tonight. They said 100% chance pretty much. Supposed to go all night. Yeah, I really want some snow. I'm tired of this winter without snow. What's the deal? Me too. It's winter. <laughs> I want snow. Why live in the Okay, so season? what I'm doing right now is um, I'm cleaning off some thyme leaves because you guys know I have thyme outside. You do too. Um, so I I didn't have to buy any, but I, I do need to pull the little um, the little tiny leaves off. And, and I also chopped up about four sage leaves. What? Your time is still alive. Yeah, it is. It winters over if I keep it watered. Yeah. So I I have probably a good teaspoon of time, I guess, when all is said and done. Ooh, nice and camera work. 
quick. That was a quickie. <laughs> that was a, that's what they call, uh, what do they call it? A snap focus when you're just oh, like, yeah. boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a sport. Better not say that too loud. He's going to ask to get paid. Uh -oh. <laughs> David, we can't pay you yet. <laughs> so no, I'm getting fed. I get food. That's you all get I food. need. <laughs> You're paid in dinner. <laughs> That's a good dinner. Yeah. Okay, so the chicken's almost done. I did, I chopped up three sage leaves and this. That's for later, the time. Um, you know what I'm going to do? What's that? I have to uh, saute these onions and shallots and garlic. So I think I'm going to pour off some of this oil and I'm going to use sun dried tomato oil. Okay, that's really smart. I think a lot of people get rid of that and don't use it. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, it looks, I mean, it's got garlic and everything in it. It should be really flavorful. Nice. That's what I would think. Thank you. I have these tiny cutting boards. This one I have had since college. Wow. My friends at the time were from Germany. And these are little things they serve at breakfast, or they did then. I don't know if they do now. So your bagel would go on here, and your, everybody would get an individual cutting board to cut their bagel or put their toast on. I love that. Isn't it? Great, now that we're in this um, writing mode, when I was, it was hitting me a couple of nights ago of every moment of our lives, every influence we've ever had throughout our lives of food is culminating now into all the things that we know. And those German people, you know, were like influencing you, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. other, other friends and your jobs and everybody's house that you went to dinner you know, and it's just amazing. Your travels, it all sort of comes together, you know, later in life to, to make these dishes. So cool. Yeah, that it was it was very influential. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant to have little cutting boards. And I cannot tell you how often I use them. Like on my big cutting board, if I'm going to chop meat, and I want to use the whole cutting board here to do vegetables and everything, I'll put the meat on the little one. And that way it's not on my big cutting board, you know, all of the, I don't have to clean it the same way. I can just put this cutting board in the sink. When I was catering in New York, a lot of families that we cooked for were Jewish and they had Orthodox kitchens. So I started separating the boards and the dairy and the meat and all that uh -huh. stuff. And it just kind of, it just kind of went in me. And so I'm the same way where I don't like, and of course my mother who, God forbid you put the pastry on the regular cutting board with the garlic. And stuff. <laughs> she's really the stickler about that. I know I've mentioned it before, but she's right because it ruins the flavors stay in the board. Even if you wash yes. it really well, they, they get seasoned. And so you want to, you know, you don't want bacteria, you know, whatever. So you really have to wash your boards and keep, and have a lot of them for different yeah. things. Yeah. Yep. So this one I can cut on this big board right here and not worry about the oil getting everywhere. It stays right on this little board. Look who's here. Come here. Monty, come on. Come on. Oh, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Monty's going up. Hi, baby. Look <laughs> here. Hi. <laughs> so the chicken, Monty? Oh, boy, we love that. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for the um, the mushrooms to sort of release the water. And they're getting a little toasty, which is great, with oh. the garlic and, um, and shallots. Now, mm. I'm not going to salt this yet because I will be adding chicken stock and uh, mustard to this let it simmer and i'll taste that later oh my god that's gonna be so good my mouth so is watering a cup of chicken stock <laughs> i'm going to add a tablespoon of um dijon mustard to it stir it in there oh i love like a mustard good mustard cream sauce with mushroom that is so oh, good. Man, nothing better mm. really good so 
Um, and I'm going to add probably about a half a cup of wine, but I, I'm not. I'm going to see what what this looks like in a second. Okay. Someone saying, where do you store, how do you store all these boards? Can they be stored together? Very good question. Um, mine are all in different places, really. Yeah, mine too. They're just in different places. Yeah, I have some, the pastry ones can all be together because they never have the strong flavors. They have flour usually and that's it for kneading and things like that. And but the other ones, I don't think you want to put them. The fear of bacteria and salmonella is so great. I think they need to air out. So they need to be places where they can get air, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so you can see the mushrooms are browning. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God. Wow, that's a great color. And I'm gonna add in now, I'm gonna deglaze the pan with some wine. I Probably be about a half to three quarters of a cup. But that's not five buck chuck, is it? No, it's two buck chuck. <laughs> I know it's two buck chuck, but we were saying five buck. Five buck donation. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those are that that got up all the little brown bits on the bottom. Mm. Now I'm gonna add in the chicken stock and the mustard. Oh my God, I'm dying. And, so good. Uh, the herbs are going in. And I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of half and half. If I had cream, I'd use cream, but I don't, I have half and half. <laughs> I you actually you could use yogurt if you wanted or sour cream. Any I, of those things could work. I've done that before. Sour cream has many uses. Um, it's not just what, you know, for the top of your nachos. There's so many uses. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's fine to use them for the top of your nachos. Of course. Yeah, I had nachos the other day. I made some kick ass nachos. Okay, so someone was writing us about Super Bowl food, and I know there's this game that people play with some kind of object. With a ball, the oblong ball. ball. They have points, it's coming up in a couple of weeks or something big, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we're thinking maybe, you know, if people have ideas for, you know, some good Super Bowl food, that would be fun to do, to do something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I can do something. Something Super Bowl. -ish. I used to have Super Bowl parties all the time. My whole adult life, I've had Super Bowl parties, like making the cookies for the teams and the whole thing. Wow. But Colin Kaepernick, I stopped. That ruined it for you. <laughs> Done. All right. So this has come to a boil. I'm going to add the, put it down to a simmer. I just wanted to taste it. I'll let you know this. I tasted it before I added the chicken in because the chicken's not cooked. So I wanted to make sure the sauce was, um, had enough salt in it before I added the chicken in. Cause otherwise I'd have to wait till the chicken was done. You don't want to eat raw ch chicken juice. This is, these are really good chicken tips. Okay. Chicken uh -huh. tips. You know, a lot of times, there's a tendency to overcook chicken and it's just, you don't want to have, you don't want that, you know? No, it's, I have my overcooked chicken story in the book. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's in there. Okay. So this is probably going to cook about eight minutes or so. Okay. I'd say eight to 10. I'm going to simmer it. Are you going to cover it? Um, in about five minutes, I want, um, some of the alcohol to come off and for it to reduce a little bit. It doesn't reduce as well with a lid on it. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to serve it on these. Oh, I got these noodles today. Look at these. Wide Ooh, noodles. Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm going to use those. Um, I was going to make them, but I was busy writing. I'm having a potato. I didn't make any. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's it. That's the dinner, people. Delicious.
delicious. Yeah. Um, I will take a picture and post the recipe when it's done. <laughs> Excellent. Yay! Get it. Don't don't forget the recipe contest. Don't you want to be in the book? Come on. It would be so fun. <laughs> there are so many amazing cooks, chefs on our page that I can't imagine we are not going to get overwhelmed with recipes soon. <laughs> I hope so. Because yeah. it would be really great to share that with you. Um, all right. Well, um, also, happy impeachment. What? Oh, impeachment starts on my birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Debrion. <laughs> Oh my God, so funny. <laughs> anyway, um, we, we shall see you guys. We moved heaven and earth to get that for you on your birthday. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank, <laughs> thank Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, God. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys know what to do. We'll see you tomorrow. Now, wear two masks. Please. Wear two masks. Tell your friends about our fundraiser. Tell yes. them you're doing in the kitchen. It's fun. Share them. Share it. We, we love having, sharing. We're still having fun, damn it. <laughs> we are. Right? Totally. We we have not run out of ideas or recipes. <laughs> Go figure. <Okay. laughs> Wear two masks, too. Two masks. Stay safe. Stay